So we decided to see if we could find real world frictional losses using just this water and this leaf. Let's try it out. Well, that experiment sucked. Let's try something cooler. All right, so instead of that stupid leaf experiment, we decided to find the coolest thing we can, the CRC water slide. Using this, we should be able to calculate the difference between ideal flow and real flow. So here's what we're doing. Lewis here is gonna go down the slide. We're gonna time him and compare that to what in an ideal world his time should be. All right, Lewis, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Let's send it. You ready? Woo! Look at that. Thank you. All right, Lewis, how was it? Man, that was awesome. Let's go do some math. Good. Let's go. So as you can see by our diagram here, Lewis started at the top of the slide approximately 30 feet above the ground. The length of the slide was 184 feet and he went down in a recorded time of 12.5 seconds. Now we do have to make a few assumptions for this experiment. As you saw during the video, there was a little basin of water with still water. So we are assuming, like Lewis, the initial velocity of the water is equal to zero. Other than that, we are assuming that flow is inviscid, incompressible, steady and laminar, fully developed, and due to the nature of the fact that we're measuring pressure from the surface, P1 is equal to P2, which is equal to P atmosphere, and that there is minimal or no minor losses. All right, we can take a look at the ideal case now. So in this case, we know the pressure is zero, or at least atmospheric on both sides, so we can cross out pressure. We know that our ending height is also zero. We have no loss because we're not so doing an ideal case. Um, and lastly, we know that our initial velocity is equal to zero. So this moves now to this case here. Um, height and velocity components. Doing a little bit of math, you can figure out that V2 is equal to 43.9 seconds, feet per second. Man, that is fast! Yep. Too bad it wasn't really that fast though. Here's the real case. Using our basic motion equations, we found, plugging in the length of the slide and the time it took for him to get to the bottom, that Lewis was traveling 29.44 feet per second when he hit the water. Plugging that then into our Bernoulli equation, we found a head loss due to friction of 16 and a half feet. CRC, do better. We need ideal slides.